Hi students, I wanna go over the science retake policy and what to do if you need to do a retake. First off, there are a few important things you should really know and not forget through the this, this semester. The first one is that learning targets are a major part of your grade. They're is super important. Now those learning targets come from this, the state guidelines of what we're supposed to be learning in this course. And they're assessed during the exams and the test and the mastery scores. Now only retakes repair low grades. So if you have a low grade, it's retakes that are really your best bet. There are no extra credit opportunities offered. I know a lot of students come and ask for that to retake their grade. A lot of times, a lot of students do that at the end of the semester, but there's no retakes offered. So I wanna let you know that now before it's too late. Retakes do have a deadline. They're not accepted after the next unit test. You have up until the next unit test to do the retake. So pay attention to due dates and stay on top of the work. Let me talk a little bit about the learning target mastery. So I said that learning target scores come from assessment. So let's take a look at an assessment. Let's say a student took a test or uh, on Schoology and their overall score was 73%. A lot of times students go and look at this overall score and that's all they get. And I really don't like that. I don't think it's very informative. 73%, yeah, it's an overall grade for the test, but how well exactly did they do on each part? Instead, I want to ask you to go and check the mastery score on Schoology. There's a button on Schoology, you click the mastery button, and this is going to give you your scores broken apart. And so here, this is what that student got for each of those sections. On the left side is the learning target. And that's important to know because that's what's going to go in the grade book. In the middle is the overall grade that the student's going to get. And on the right is the progress, which also tells you which exam or which test that that target was assessed on. So this student for target 1.1 got a 90%. In campus, that would translate to a 9 out of 10. On 1.2, this student got an 87.5%, and on campus that would translate to an 8.8 .8 out of 10. On target 1.3, this student got a 50%, so that would translate to a 5 out of 10. And so if you take a look here, this student didn't do too bad. In fact, the first two targets were really great. The student got about a 90% average on 1.1 and 1.2 targets. It's target 1.3 that this student really struggled with, and that might be the target the student should retake. In fact, anything below 60%, I would really recommend considering to retake. So how do you retake a learning target? Let's take a look at some of the steps. The first step is that you must complete all of your required work in Schoology in the weekly folders up to the unit test. So if you go find that test that, that, that those targets were assessed on and look at all the previous materials and everything needs to be complete for that unit. You know it's complete if you look at the little student completion rules, they'll say submitted with a little green check mark, or if they don't, then you know you didn't complete those things. Now, just because you complete them doesn't mean that they were done well. You should also consider going back to materials, making sure that they were done well and review those materials. Step two is to contact your teacher to get access to the learning target review form. And so your teacher's gonna go check your materials to make sure everything was done. And then they're gonna go ahead and open up a review form. Now this isn't your retake. This is to get you to study for that retake. And so it's gonna have you do extra steps. So retakes are extra work. You're gonna have to go and do extra things in order to earn a retake. So it's best if you don't have to do a retake, but if you do, this is just to get you to study and to work hard to really understand the material. So make sure you complete it, each of these learning target retake forms to the best of your ability. All right, step three, after you're done with the learning target retake form and you took time to review the material, you've gone above and beyond to do extra work, you should inform your teacher that you finished with the LTRF with your, the highest standards and effort. Um, and let them know that you're ready for a retake. Now, again, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna earn that retake right away. If you didn't do the LTRF properly and you didn't actually take your time to show that you really understand the material, it may be rejected if not done correctly and you might have to continue to work on it. So work hard and make sure you do things correctly the first time. So the final thing I wanna say is retakes equal the better score. If you retake that target and you do better, 
Awesome, you're gonna get the better score of the two. So here a student originally got a 60% on, a, re on a, a learning target, and then they retook that target and got a 90%. Their score going in campus will be a nine out of 10. So that's a great thing. If you do worse, then you won't get the worst score. I'll give you the better of the two scores, but hopefully you've worked hard and you've done all that extra work to do better. So good luck. I hope you guys consider doing retakes. I hope you don't have to do retakes, but I realize science is a little challenging sometimes, and you're not going to know everything. So retakes are an opportunity for you to do better. 